Despite the contributions of women to hip hop over the decades, many of the most visible artists are men whose lyrics and videos often depict women in a two dimensional, highly sexualized way. Although less well known, there is a vibrant community of female MCs who are marking their own territory and creating their own niches. FSRN's Zoe Sullivan spoke with some of them in New Orleans. On the first Monday of every month, hip hop artists, producers, and musicians gather at a club tucked away in an industrial neighborhood. This night, cars compete for parking and people line up at the door, bringing life to a corner of an otherwise desolate area. Inside the club, people cluster together and chat as one of the featured groups, Queens of the Mic, performs on stage. Queens of the Mic is an all-women's music collective, and one of its members, Faya, says her music is about empowering women. I call like my brand of hip hop grown woman hip hop because I'm grown, you know, I'm not a teeny bopper, I'm not a kid, I'm a mother, I'm a, a professional, you know, but I also can't let go of this voice that I have. I can't stop rapping, I can't stop, you know, rhyming and, and um, spoken word. I just can't stop it. So do some good with it. Faya also works as a counselor in the New Orleans public school system where she encounters youth who've been affected by displacement and poverty since Katrina. Faya has organized arts workshops in southern prisons and discussions on police terrorism in New Orleans. She says her music reflects her life as an activist and the power that women have to make change. Another New Orleans musician is 3D T, who was awarded Best Female Artist and Lyricist of the Year in 2010 at the New Orleans Hip Hop Awards. I ain't trying to get in the game so I can be a basketball wife. I don't have any ulterior motives to be an actress. In her song, Back to the Block, 3D Nati addresses the issues of crime in prison and the difference between posing as a gangster and being stuck with that reality. For many New Orleans artists like 3D Nati, crime is a serious topic. And so is the message that people need to find different ways of dealing with conflict and getting by. Niti acknowledges her own experiences with drugs, weapons, and jail. But, she says, talking about these things does not mean endorsing them. I'm not glorifying the lifestyle. You know, I never want to glorify the fake. Who wants to be broke? Who wants to sell drugs? Who wants to commit crimes and go to jail? Niti says her success as an artist can help inspire others to strive for their dreams. I, I don't just want to be a ringtone rapper. I don't just want to get a, get, a, get a song on Billboard, make some money, and then go into some other avenue. Like, I think it's important for the things that I've been through and, uh, and, uh, and just where I came from. I think it's important for me to give back and talk about the things that I've been through, and people can relate to that. Other artists, like As It Is, focus on positive messages in their music. In her song, My Sunshine, the Louisiana native mixes a quick drum beat with the bright sounds of a xylophone as she raps about self-confidence and positive energy triumphing over haters. As It Is is an independent artist who's committed to making her own music. She performs regularly in Europe, has made a video with the Polish group BK Phonem, and is planning a South African tour. As it is, wearing fatigues and a black jacket, says she tries to be a role model for young women. All these little girls are looking up to whoever the artist is that's on top, like Nicki Minaj. They're looking up to her. So what she has a moral obligation to do things in the right way, to make sure that they grow up feeling more uh, confident about who they are as a person, not a sex, sex object. As it is, says her path is not easy because she's committed to creating her music her way. She could sign with a major label, but that would limit her freedom to say what she wants. And that's not something she or her sister artists are giving up anytime soon. Zoe Sullivan, FSRN, New Orleans.